So I recently had some filament clogged and stuck in my Chidia Plus 4. I'm gonna show you guys how to easily fix that so you're not stumbling around trying to figure it out for yourself. Now, how I first noticed this is the printer was just ghost printing, nothing was coming out and I couldn't figure out why. And after reaching out to Chidi, they said, you probably have a clog. So I took the hot end off and then there was a piece of filament actually stuck in there. So I took that off and thought that was the end of the issue and then put everything back together and I couldn't get the filament to load in there. So then I went ahead and took the extruder off. There's just two screws holding it in. It's easy to pull out. And then there's five screws on the back that you just pull the cover off and then you can see the gears. And then once I got this taken apart, I did find some more filament stuck in here. So got that all cleared out and put back together. And I thought that was gonna be everything that was clogged. But when I went to go load the filament, it was not feeding it into the extruder. And I was getting this noise coming from the gears like something was stuck. I wasn't sure what that was caused by, so I reached out to Chidi and they said there's probably filament stuck in the neck of the nozzle. And sure enough, when I pulled the nozzle again and looked at it, there was a clog in there as well. So in order to get that filament out of the actual nozzle itself, what we're gonna have to do is heat up the nozzle and then manually push the filament through or pull it out like I had to do. Now to clear out the actual nozzle, you're gonna want a thick glove in case you accidentally touch the hot end while it is actually at 250 degrees Celsius. So on the screen of the printer, you can actually just hit the hot end and it will heat it up to 250 degrees Celsius. And while that's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the screws that hold in the hot end. And then and I just loosen the wires that are behind the clip and pull off the hot end. And I'm gonna take this Allen key and you should be able to just push this filament through and it should come out the nozzle. But in my case, that was not working. It was still stuck in there. I could not get it to push through with that Allen key. So what I ended up doing is actually just tilting the nozzle upside down and the filament came out just enough to where I was able to grab it with a pair of pliers and pull it out. Now to make sure that everything is fully clear out of here, we're going to manually load the filament and run it through just to make sure everything's good to go. So I just grabbed some PLA and ran it through the top of the nozzle. And as you can see, it is coming out the end. So the filament is running through as it should. So it looks like we got everything cleared out. And then all you have to do is just pull the filament right out. Finally, we're gonna put everything back together. I'm gonna to tuck the wires back behind that clip and put in the two screws to secure the hot end into the print head itself. And once everything's put back together, you can load the filament as normal through the tubing. So hopefully this was helpful in case you do have some sort of clog or filament stuck and you tear everything down and get it all out of the extruder and everything and still having issues, it is probably stuck inside the nozzle and throat as well, just as I had, and that should fix everything. If you guys still have issues or anything, Chidi support has been great. Just reach out to them and they'll walk you through how to fix whatever issues you're having. I just sent them a couple of pictures and videos and then they walked me through it as well. I am working on a video going over the Chidi Plus 4, so if you guys are interested in seeing that when it comes out, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button.